Will you join me now in welcoming um, my guest for tonight, winner of three Emmys, singer, dancer, actor, comedian, Dick Van something. Dyke! Sit down, she shakes hands again to kill time. <laughs> it's an interesting question you asked me during the applause. Uh, when there are two men, which one sits down first? I said, do Just I sit down first or do yeah. you? I, I, I guess I'm the host, You're theoretically. The host, so, I... so it's nice to have you here, as they say, and then you say it's nice to be here, and then we go right on. That fall that you take is wonderful. I, I, I think I used to be able to do that fall that you did at the beginning of the old... You used Hickman. to be able to. You're still a child. You can... Well, maybe I am. I wanted to be a stuntman as a kid, and, and I used to do that fall and others. Did you do that every week, that fall? I'm no, little, we just did that fall once. I'm a little naive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we just did it once. Yeah. People have always asked me if I ever hurt myself falling. I only did once yeah. on the show. I was carrying two folding chairs in each hand, and I was supposed to trip in the living room over a little toy truck. Yeah. And I was thinking so hard about getting those chairs to fall that way that I forgot to tuck under, and I fell on my shoulder and really hurt oh. it. Uh, do you have any badly. permanent damage other than that, or from yes, all of your yes, you do? Yes, strangely enough, I do. Doesn't I, show, whatever <laughs> it is, I don't well, see it. Well, sometimes, then. <laughs> no, I, I had some x-rays taken not too long ago, as a matter of fact, yeah. and all the vertebrae in my neck are kind of like this, all wow. mashed together, and he tells me that um, Red Skelton has the same thing. He took spectacular falls. Oh, also. beautiful falls, yes. And that's what messed up his neck? Yes, and mine too. Do, uh, too you many tend Pratt to fall falls. kind of on the, yeah, too many Pratt falls. If you but fall, I wear it with honor. That's terrible. If you fell on your neck, does it mess up your Pratt or uh, <laughs> whatever? I mean, does it work the opposite way? Why your neck, I wonder? That's where the shock is coming. I guess that's where the shock comes. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Uh, why are you wearing this uh, Halloween? Uh, uh, so I only have one reason, and it's uh, unassailable. My wife likes it. It's, it's very great. It's it. very nice. Is it sort of Edwardian, isn't it, or something? Or what yes, is it? it is. Yeah. Do people I recognize you in this? Um... It's the rotten disguise. It is. It doesn't work with anybody. Really? It doesn't work. Are no. people coming up to you saying, "Are you Dick Van Dyke?" And... Well, I, I have something. To tell you. <laughs> I went to the theater last night. I got off the plane, went straight to the theater, yeah. and was sitting. To, I wanted to see Jason Robards. Yeah. in a play, and just before the lights went down, I was on the aisle, and across the aisle was an attractive blonde girl who kept looking at me and trying to, and I obviously wanted to say something and couldn't get up the nerve. Finally, just before the lights went down, she came over and she said, excuse me, are you Dick Cavett? <laughs> I swear. Are you kidding me? I, it's for my credit, I did not stand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was going to say, if only you had been standing, I would have really, um, that would have really I, been something. But know. you were sitting, of course. But I, I said, uh, Dick Cavett would not be caught dead with a Van Dyke like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or, or something like that. <laughs> Listen, we have no laugh track here, so you're taking a big chance. <laughs> <laughs> the, that, uh, that film called, um, I think, the, was it The Morning After is the correct title? Yes. Was it, that film? That's really a frightening thing to see you that way. And uh, I know that a lot of people, friends of mine, were shocked when they found that you, uh, I guess the news came out in one of the news magazines first, I think, that you had mm -hmm. been alcoholic. Actually, that isn't correct to say, is it? Because um, alcoholics never say they were alcoholic. They say they're That's absolutely are right. You're always so. an alcoholic. Yeah. You say, they say they're recovered or recovering yeah. alcoholics. One thing that's fascinating about that is that we're all conditioned to laugh at your moves on screen. And uh, I don't know how you got the, the comic edge off your motion, which I think is intrinsically funny. In that, it was, it's amazing. I mean, well, Dick uh, Heffron, who was the director and a marvelous guy, he was very understanding about it. Yeah. Before each take, they'd say, roll them, and then just before he'd say action, he'd say, this is not a comedy. Yeah. Before every take. Yeah. <laughs> but that frightening look in your eye and that whole, uh, it, it looks, anybody who's been around an alcoholic knows that Knows that, feeling, yeah. And yet you, you're, uh, how um, how close to your story was that that story in the film? A lot of it. They were. It was written by a friend of mine who is a recovered alcoholic and a very good writer. And we kind of got together. And I got together with the director, and we shared experiences. But mm -hmm. almost every alcoholic's experience is pretty much the same. Once you get on that progression, it's yeah. It, uh, 
I'd like to say one thing very important before I forget it is there are a lot of people dying from alcoholism because the rest of us are enabling them to because there's a, a stigma about that disease as you probably know mm -hmm. and for centuries they've been putting the blame on the character of the addict and it's not so there is no uh, degeneration or loose morals or character defects in an alcoholic it's a physical disease an alcoholic has a certain metabolism and glandular setups that make them chemically adapt themselves to alcohol. And for them it is a stimulant and it is calories and it is food and their bodies adapt to it. And it is a true addiction. And it has nothing to do with a person not being mature enough not to drink too much. It's a true addiction, like heroin addiction. Does that mean that you were destined to become an alcoholic at birth if you yes. ever took a drink? That's true. That's now for right. me it took many, many years as just a social drinker along with everyone else. Yeah. And of course by the time I realized I was in trouble I was uh, too deluded like mm -hmm. most alcoholics are to, to be able to understand what was wrong with me. Can you, I know it's supposed to be hard to find the point where you became an alcoholic in the sense that uh, you were over the line into the danger zone. Can you isolate that point in your <clears> own life? No, and I've tried to many, many times. When did yeah. I go from uh, the point where I drank with my friends at a party or something and when I began to drink way ahead of them. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I can't, you tend, I find, to get with people who are heavier drinkers yeah. without realizing what you're doing. And now that I am a non-drinker altogether, I find that I've lost most of my friends who drank very heavily. They I just don't see them. They avoid you? They kind of avoid me. Yeah. I think I'm a, I get to their conscience a little bit now. Are there well-known people in the show, in, in our business and show business, that who are alcoholic that the public doesn't suspect? I, obviously, I'm not asking for names, but do you know? If there are many recovered alcoholics yeah. in show business. Many, many, and uh, of course they don't. They don't want to say so, and I can't blame them too much. <laughs> yeah, a few do, like yourself, and some don't. Really. And some don't yeah, like to talk about it. Mercedes McCambridge, for one, yeah. particularly. Yeah. yeah, she kind of broke the ice for the rest of us. I uh -huh. think. I know Robert Young has talked about his in yes, articles. Yes, Dean Andrews. Yeah. Um, it's fascinating. I, p sometimes people have asked me, you know, this boring interview questions, what are you proudest of in your career and that kind of thing? And it's always hard to think of those things, but I, I did a two-part show on alcoholism one time. And yes, when I you, saw. Whenever you get a letter that says, your show saved my life, uh, you know, or something, I guess that, that has a kick that you can't get in any other kind That's of very, show very business. That's very, very And I'm sure you've got a lot of those. There are a lot of those. Television has a great power that way, if, if, if used yes. to, that way. Mm. And uh, I, I have a collection of letters that I prize very highly from people who somehow were kind of shocked into seeing themselves in that movie and did get help for themselves. Yeah. That must have sent a lot of people for help. It did. Yeah. It yeah. did. And a lot of people, uh, I've had spouses of alcoholics write to me and say my husband or my wife wouldn't watch the rest of the movie. They had turned it off or left the room. They wouldn't watch, which is a pretty good indication they have a drinking problem. Yeah.